This week marks one year since a nine-year-old girl was shot outside her home in Kingston community. She survived that shooting. Tonight, Julia Baker and her mother, Latrice, are sharing her story. They are hopeful that her story will change someone's mind before they pick up a deadly weapon to handle a situation. Our Jen Cardone joins us live in studio. Jen, you talked with a the family. They've both come a long way in this past year. That's right, Sherry, and they're so focused on returning back to normal that they didn't even remember that yesterday was the one year anniversary. Instead, Jalea lit up during our interview when her mom played one of her favorite dance routines. Dancing has always been Julia Baker's passion. I miss her dancing. And that hasn't changed even though she is paralyzed. Her mother Latrice says they got home from the grocery store last November when the gunshots started. And I kept calling for Julia's name and she never answered me. And I was like, that turned around. I seen her just laid out in the back seat. Unresponsive, like one time she just had this look like help on her face. And that's when I noticed she was struck by a bullet. The doctors say Julia is paralyzed for life. She went from being in the honors class, honor students, to now we facing special education because she had their brain surgery, she had a stroke seizure. So it changed my baby whole life. Definitely. Discovering her new life daily. I'm grateful. And and I, I, I can st still play with my little brother. With an important message on gun violence. Put the guns down. It's not worth it. Asking for more common sense thinking of the consequences first. I hope I can touch a lot of people though with this story. Jalea will not waste her time. That was almost erased. It made me that, that, I, that I'm grateful that I'm here, here and I can still see my brother. And I can Ladies. still see my mama. Yes. <laughs> now, to further complicate the story during all of this, Lat Latrice had to get her foot amputated because she was battling diabetes and had to choose that or caring for her daughter. They both say that this has made them stronger and they're hopeful that telling their story that someone will think before pulling the trigger. Reporting live in the studio, Jen Cardone, CBS 42 News. Local coverage you can count.